on to the next part. First, let's check the phone. God damn, I have shit to do. A whole bunch of it. I feel like I missed a bunch of penny stuff, but... Uh... Well, if nothing else, I approve of the image change. <laughs> That's an image change and more of a return to the natural look. It's like I quit using the bottle, you know? Nonetheless, white is the color of purity. It's like the symbol of a new start. Ruby told us you were in dire straits. Glad to see you already up and about, Evelyn. Thanks. Can't believe she just up and decided to help rescue me without knowing what she was getting into. That's Ruby for you. Oh my gods, I just remembered. Whoa, Ruby, what's wrong? Uh, with everything that's been going on, I totally forgot about a thing that happened. What kind of thing? So, um, a few weeks ago, I ran into your friend, Bella. I mean, I guess she's not really a friend, but... Anyway, the red-haired girl? I met her on the day of the exhibition matches who called you big brother. Um, yes, I remember who Bella is, Ruby. Yeah, she... She... She had my mother's cloak and brooch. Your mother? Yes, her name was Summer. Summer Rose. And and apparently my mother saved hers and her friends those lives when they were young. That's how she got the, that brooch and cloak my mother left them to her. Oh, that's... that's... I don't know what it is. This is so confusing. It's cool it's what it is. I have further first-hand proof that my mother was badass. Was? Oh. She was a huntress, you know. It happens. Still, I never met anyone who had met her outside of my family. And she... She was a very important figure in their lives. So, um... I know that this is a weird request, but last time we couldn't really... And... I'll give Bella a call tomorrow morning. Really? Absolutely. I would never refuse you something this important, Ruby. Thanks, boyfriend. I doubt we can refuse Ruby anything <laughs> because she's so adorable. Let's look around. Da, 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 da. Again, I'm not for going to do seduction gyps. Is there something we can do with Pira? I'm gonna just. Okay, nothing new there. I'm gonna rewind a bit. Hmm. Let's look around, shall we? Hmm. Okay. Jim, it is. Again, we need more attack power. We need to keep the fight up. Okay, let's first go back. Okay, no, I have to ask Penny about that. Oh boy, this is gonna be more. Can't believe we made it out alive. I'll say, again, I keep on putting Penny off, but I don't want to. Sure, some of us came back in a less than desirable state, but beats the alternative. Help that there was so many of us and everyone pulled their weight. Including me. The me from a few months ago would have never been able to do what I did in Burrito. I've gotten stronger, and it's no small part thanks to... Oh my gosh, there you are. Uh, what is it, Howard? Howie, come here. Come here. Come here, you big freaking dog. Oh, hold up. I'll put the light from. 
Kelly, come here. Come here. This big thing. How we sit. I'll just enjoy the bow. Just stay there. Okay. Now I gotta get back to work. Yeah, yeah. Making sure my cords in it popped out. Pura and everyone else who helped me progress. I guess you heard. Heard is putting it lightly. Why is half of your team indisposed? And where did you go? Yang and Weiss were in an uproar because Ruby was gone. Just them? What about Blake? She um, was kind of bristling, but mostly convinced she was going to be alright. Anyway, what happened? Well, I've already told you a lot when you helped me with my semblance. I guess I should tell you the rest now. The whole long ass fucking story. Close. Way too close. I know. For a moment there, I was completely convinced it was over for me. Still, I think that was very selfless. And brave. The kind of conviction to lay down your life? I admire it. Yeah, that's because that was one of the many sad moments that you caused him, Ruby. So luckily having someone already experienced it before you then talking to them would be a big change of pace. How selfless was I really? I certainly wouldn't have done it for just anyone. I was just doing it because it was Evelyn. I understand that, but still. Sacrificing yourself is not something just anyone can do, even for a loved one, I guess. At the moment, I didn't really think about it too much, though. I was just thinking about saving Evelyn. I even got chastised for it, you know? They chastise you because you were tried to sacrifice yourself? That's... I don't understand. Why would you... I think it's an honorable act. Honestly, if I was in the same situation, I would do it again, but thinking about it, I understand why it would upset people. Thinking back on it, sure, there would have been some things that I would have left undone, but thing is, I haven't reached a point in my life where I have aspirations. You don't have aspirations? I've been just going with the flow so far. I don't have any goals in life, things I want to do in the long term. So there really weren't any regrets on my part. Back then I would have gone content, while everyone else would have been left with guilt and pain. That's what I mean when I said it's not really selfless. Still, I, I think that even without having any regrets, sacrificing yourself is still heroic. Yeah, but how many regrets are you going to leave to others with? I... Anyway, I'm just... I'm happy you're all fine, Noah. Huh? I... I mean, good night. What was up with her at the end there? Was it something I said? Thank you, Penny, for all well, granted she sleeps, like, in the same bed. <laughs> kind of. Sort of weird to put it. Let's see here. Oh, we got a message. Hey, Bessie, how's it going? You know I'm in Vale again. Well, now, I mean, this is... This probably doesn't bode well for anyone in her sight, but I guess it's cool not being in the boring zone any longer. 
Still, since I remember that she loved the outnumbered fight because against that bunch of Beowulfs, maybe this boring zone is actually a nice beach resort or something. Anyway, I guess the rebellion in the game still hasn't been squashed. I need a drink. Ah, uh, damn, that's good. Two liter bottles only last me a day, so. Uh, uh, of course, absolutely! We, we can talk whenever she like. Whenever you like, even today. Actually, today isn't good. Why not? No, uh, my sister is still hospitalized, right? Um, yes, she'll still be a couple of days. Why? Because to tell the full story, we'll also need to touch upon what happened to our family. So I like Jack to be there as well. Ugh, you're right. That's fair. No big deal. We'll just do it on Sunday then. Jack is sure to have recovered by then. That'll be perfect. I, I guess so. Uh, see you on Sunday, Noah. Say hi to Ruby for me, from us. Well, that's settled. I bet Ruby will be happy. Absolutely, and I can't wait to partake of Tales of Her Mother. I really wonder what she was like. She was a student at Beacon 2, wasn't she? I... Hey guys, great news. Just got off the scroll with Peach. She said Jack will be right as rain by Friday. That is great news. Yep. Rightful owner of that bed will come to have many sleepless nights in it. So before that happens, Evelyn? Yeah? I'd like to ask you a favor. Um... Okay. We'll see. Let's look around. There's obviously some... I saw the thing with Pira. I'm going to go to it because doing things for Pira, I bet it's important. Especially since we know... For those of us who watch Ruby, we all know Pira. <laughs> Mostly for sadness, but let's see. The regrets of those left behind. Pira, what's wrong? Sean, when? Since? Just a few seconds ago. You didn't even hear me come in? Coming in? What are you doing at the window? Nothing. Nothing in particular. Just... Sean, what do you think of sacrifice? Jeez, and you said nothing in particular. Like, ritual sacrifice? Self-sacrifice. Pura, what... What brought this on? Is there something wrong? There's nothing wrong, it's just... I had a conversation recently, and it made me think... About sacrifice? i never seen you this shaken. Because I've always thought of it as a part of duty. The extreme gesture of a warrior. But, Jean, how would you feel if someone died for you? I have never ever thought of that before. I... I hate it. Knowing that someone had to give their life to save my sorry ass would... Especially if it was someone I cared about. I... I think I'd rather die. There's that, yes, but things like... Like, these can be, even be a split-second decision. I wouldn't know. I never... Gosh, Pierre, this is making me feel uncomfortable. I'll be honest. I'm sorry, John. It's just... It's not even that, actually. What is it, then? I... I always believe that given time, one could... I mean, even if you hesitate or push something to another date, you can eventually succeed... And if you don't, it's your own fault. Except there are things that, that are not wholly dependent on you. 
I had never considered mortality before mine, or that of the people around me, and it's scary. Pira, I need you to breathe and calm down now. You're starting to scare me. I, I'm sorry, John. I just... I don't know. There's obviously something bothering you. Look, I understand that suddenly being hit with the reality of such things can be daunting, but... Relax. Sure, we may be studying to be hunters, but we're just first years. You have all the time you need to do anything you like. It's not like anyone is just going to suddenly bite it or around here. Ah, <sighs> Sean, you moron. Noah almost died. What? Remember when Team Jade and Ruby disappeared? That's because they went on a rescue mission. And Noah almost killed himself to save Evelyn. I... I see. You two have been confusing the hell out of me, but I think I'm finally starting to understand. Uh, huh? Pura? I don't know about Noah's circumstances, but if you're afraid that he's going to die, if there's any possibility that you may be left with the regret of not having told him something important, you need to do it. And if you can't do it vocally, passions speak louder than words anyway. I love you, John. I love you too, partner. Oh, fuck, fuck. This fucking moron! Please tell me I'm not the only one that slapped myself in the face because of that. Please don't. Because... This fucking asshole! Open your fucking eyes! For fuck's sakes! What about you? What do you feel like? Eh? Owie, look at me. Just wagging your tail, not caring. Just waiting for for your owner to come back. You want me to open the door? No. Even Beer is disappointed. Coward. Agreed, Beer. Uh what the heck was that? Okay, first let's see if there's anything important. Then we'll go see... I'm not doing anything with Crow because I can't, I feel like it's bugged. Okay, no, I have to ask Penny about that. Also, um, while well, I'm at, I'm going to send a message to Minos Kane saying that cr the crow's thing might be bugged. Okay, let's see here. Um, not you, not you. Here we go.
Penny, can I ask you something? I get word back from him on that. Of course, Noah. What is it? Well... Guess it's time for me to face the music. If you like, you can hide out in our room. Actually, I didn't check for... As much as I love to love that, that would only make Yang angrier and lose you a door. So, later, boyfriend. Girlfriend? Um, yes. Bye, Ruby. Huh? Um, yes. Yeah, bye, Rubes. What was that all about? What is it now? Oh, you want to bet? This is my happy place right here. <laughs> when you pet your pet. Well, he is in my bed, but still, it's fun to pet him. And Howie, who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? You were a good dog. Yeah. You have been mostly silent here. Come on up. Howie, jump up here. Can you jump up here? No, no, not on the bed. Howie, Howie, come here. Come here. Get on the chair. Try to... Come here. I'm here, dog. Oh, there you go. Great. Thank you. Oh, my cord. Okay. Up here. Ah. Let me move the camera down. There we go. Nope. It popped up again. There we go. Sit. Good dog. When we return from Rio, we actually hold up. Let me fix this again. A little bit higher, higher, lower. Sure, you can't see all all the masks on the wall, but in some of my flag. But let's leave that be. When we return from Rio and we said bye to Ruby, I couldn't help but feel you were acting a bit weird around each other. Oh, that, um, yes. It's not something bad, is it? Sorry for prying, but it's just stuck out to me. It's fine, I guess. I should have told you since it's concerns. You know, um, let's act like I don't. Me and Ruby kind of kissed a little. Okay, I see they... Why did they bring Jack back early in this, but... You, you mean the night while we were coming back? <laughs> I like Evelyn's face in the corner. <laughs> like, hold up, hold up. I gotta bring this back up again. <laughs> yes. All right, at a girl. Oh my God! Details, details, details. I want the details. There's not much to tell. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Well, how did it happen? Um, after everything that happened, I was feeling a bit emotional and lonely. You three had all been injured and all and we're all still recovering. I had been going from worried to relieved to happy to worried again and I was emotionally exhausted. Never felt like that before. So Ruby asked if I wanted to sleep with her. She said Yang used to used to let her do that when she got scared or upset. I said yes and um we were hugging in bed and, well, we started noticing things like Ruby saw me without a collar and I saw the ridge. 
she said it was cute, like my freckles. Well, I noticed how soft she is and that her hair smells like strawberries and um... We, we realized that technically, um, we weren't just friends anymore, we... were we, so... <laughs> we... <laughs> so cute, so cute, so cute, so cute! It was nice and, um, I like to do it again. Knock yourself out, I say. I'm happy that this whole extension of your whole relationship is going so smoothly. I'd say. Partner? Nothing. It's just, I realized something funny. If this happened when we were coming back from Burrito, Penny, you kissed Ruby before I did. You probably were her first kiss. <laughs> Too cute. You really think so? I at least think it's very probable. Anyway, I'm happy too. Seems like we're all happy. Heh, <laughs> yeah. And boy, I bet Ruby's getting teased the hell and back about this. Yang does seem like the type, yes? Yeah. Well, I'm definitely getting in on that action myself. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh boy, more glitchiness with some characters. Great. Which... What the hell happened here? Fix that. Um... Nothing from Neo? That's surprising. Match is over. Good show, Miss Adele. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's gotta hurt the, that second year's face. Just second year self esteem. Although, it looked less like a yawn out of boredom and more one out of tiredness. The guy put up a good fight anyway. How come you were the winner, but you're the one who looks the most like crap? Because I could smell your breath from a mile away. Also, because we've been stupid busy with missions, boy toy, like, wow. Missions? What do you mean? Yeah, you wouldn't know, being a first year. So, you notice how despite there being third and fourth year curriculums, you never see... seem to see any around school? Now that you mention it, that's because starting from a final exam of shorts, at the end of the first year, the students of the academy start taking missions out in the field under the supervision of a senior hunter. In the second year, the curriculum is still half lessons, half missions, but from third, third year onwards, it's 100% learning on the field. They probably see school grounds and they barely see school grounds anymore, really. Oh, so that's why they don't have any dorms on school grounds. Yeah, with missions, you actually start getting a form of income, too. Probably, problem is, it, it seems that recently missions have been cropping up in length, even for us second years. It's like there's Grimm coming out of the woodwork in Vale recently. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, it's fine. A sleepless night or two is expected with our career choice. The real problem is that I won't be able to organize the dance. Ugh, I do not trust the teachers with that, considering their tastes. The dance? You seriously haven't heard about it yet? I've been kind of busy. School mundane life isn't exactly on the top of my priorities. Mundane life, he says. It's kind of black tie affair, semi-formal for students of the first and second year to have some fun together some, before summer break. This year is going to be particularly important to too because of all the transfer students, but alas, I lack the time I had when I was a first year it seems. I see. What are you going to do about it then? Ah, 
Ideally, I need to find a first year who knows how to organize this kind of stuff and would be willing to take over for me. I think I know just the person. Okay, I'm going to do that first. Let's look around. Make sure nothing important's going on. Oops. Brought up the menu. Seriously, no text from it from Neo. That's surprising. Hey Ruby. Good afternoon. Hey boyfriend. What's up? Got some weapon oil, you? Oh, I hope you got the Masadina Dina brand. My baby deserves the, only the best. And I'm waiting for Blake to return a book. I see. Anyway, I like your taste. Well, what can I say? I know my babies and all of their needs. You do. But I was more referring to your taste in redheads. Oh gods, Penny told you. She wasn't supposed to? That sounds silly, yes, considering it's just... It's weird to say, but I liked it, but I don't think I want to do it again. Did something happen while... Oh no, absolutely. It was... nice. Oh <laughs> no! Really nice, actually, and after kissing you, um, I noticed certain similarities, te similar techniques in Penny's kisses. <laughs> She's talking about this next to Blake. And if you're wondering what this rent, and any of you who's been wondering what this rent is going on, that'll be my aboriginal traits going through, but... Excuse me. Well, what can I say? We are frequent sparring partners. Yeah. And play came in at the worst or best possible timing, depending on what's going to happen here. Sorry, I'm just checking something. Um, what is this? Um, I'm just checking. Okay. Good. Thing is, though. Even though I liked it, um, I don't think I like girls any more than I do bef did before. Oh? Well, that is a bit weird, yeah. You thought about it, I guess? Duh. I room with Weiss and Blake, remember? Still, I thought about it, and I thought about it, but it still feels weird thinking of kissing them and stuff. Oh, there she goes. Hmm, and what about Penny? I, I really liked it, and whenever I think about it, I feel all warm and fuzzy inside, just like I did with then. But what if it's just that one time? What if I only like boys? I see what you mean. Well, only one way to verify that, don't you think? Y you mean, what else? Just come to our room on Saturday. We can all go out together to afterwards. I guess there's no other way. And I'll refrain from further teasing until we figure this out. Thank you kindly. That's why I haven't told Yang or the others. Good choice. That, wa that was knowing Yang. Anyway, I should go. See you on Saturday. And what the fuck are you doing though? What the? What are you doing? Making a weird ass sound. I wonder if the audio caught that. Owie! Owie! What's wrong? Owie! Hey! Don't just wag your tail at me! Freaking dog. Hmm, before you go. <laughs> yes, I definitely like boys. Good to know. Later, Roops. Yeah, later. 
I'm only imagining what's bound to happen because Blake showed up. You kissed Root Penny? You like girls? So I'm not good enough for you? No! <laughs> what? What is it? Hold up. Um, I'm going to end this part here, then I'll continue.